Hey, hey. That was a, a great fight. Obviously, you've had a few minutes to digest it. I'm interested. How do you feel it went, and how do you feel about your performance? You know, it went it went really well. Um, there was a few positions that uh, that I lost that I shouldn't have. Uh, but what can you do? It's it's a fight, right? Sometimes things aren't going to go your way. And I think for me, it was all about growth. You know, I haven't been in the cage in a year, and uh, honestly. Even though there was a lot of downs because of that, you know, a lot of cancellations, postponements, uh, I think it's a blessing in disguise because I think I just needed a little bit of time to develop, you know, not only physically and technically, but mentally. And uh, the biggest factor for me was, was composure, you know, because I'm, I'm, I basically grew up in the UFC. It was only 2-0 and when I got in here, 8-1 and one now. All of, most of my fights, you know, against game opponents in the UFC. So uh, for me, it was a lot of mental work. And um, if I'm going to fight these girls and, you know, I can't take everyone out in the first round, like I got to expect, you know, it could be three rounds, right? What's my mind going to be like? Is my mentality going to be there? Is my composure going to be there? Am I going to be able to scramble, you know, in risky situations and, and not stress about it? You know, and I think for me, it was a huge win. So that's an in interesting takeaway and probably a good one that, you know, you often hear fighters get up here and say, oh, I, I didn't just blast them out of there in the first round. In fact, the last fighter up here, he said that I wanted to finish it in the first second of the first round. But do you think at this stage of your career, it's Im almost important to get those minutes in the octagon yeah. to learn and develop as a fighter? And you can only really do that by cage time. Right, for sure, 100%. I agree with you. Um, you know, we all want to get a finish, you know? And, and I feel like a lot of my finishes came because I wasn't thinking about it, you know, and I want to do things, I want to execute plans eloquently, and I want to do it the right way, and I want to look good doing it, you know, and the only way to really get to that point is to really focus on drilling, the technicality, the mentality of it, so, you know, you do need more cage time in order to get that composure, you know, and uh, I'm just, you know, it's a blessing in disguise that I've had a little bit more time off to grow, you know, in both of those aspects of fighting. Was she stronger than you thought she was going to be or about what you expected? I knew she was going to be strong. I mean, <laughs> all these girls in here, I mean, I know they're going to be strong. I can't just be like, oh, she's not going to be strong. That's a terrible way to think before you get in a cage. <laughs> For me, I'd always be like, she's going to be her strongest. She's going to be her best. Just expect the best from her, you know. Uh, and, and she's a game opponent. And this, I was really looking forward to this fight because she's been around for a while. You know, I have a lot of respect for her. The woman's 43 years old fighting 20 year olds 30 year olds and, and she's in great shape you know and uh i'm not i don't think she's you know some bomb i mean she's strong and she's got the game and i really wanted to test myself against that did you uh break her nose in the second round maybe i don't know <laughs> look like it yeah yeah did she, uh, i heard her i heard her a few times i saw that and i and i really wanted to have that pregnant pause and really just focus on being composed instead of being a psychopath you know even though that's like what I, my natural instinct is to just kill 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 but <laughs> I really wanted composure you know and and if I'm gonna get a finish I want to look good doing it you know and I want it to be off of her mistake or on my time right so I didn't want to bum rush into something and have her take a shot and me be in a bad position um because I tend to do that sometimes so uh so yeah I mean there's a few times where I could have followed through and you know, maybe got a finish, but um, I'm not, you know, I'm going to go back and look at the tapes and reassess that, but, uh, but you know, from, from a mind standpoint, I'm, I'm happy with, you know, the way I was composed about it, so. Well, those are words of a very evolved fighter to say that you can't just bum rush and can't just kill, kill, kill. Yeah. That's, that that's shows growth. So. I mean, you can. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. You can. I often think about killing people, especially at the <laughs> yeah. supermarket. Um, that's you why I don't go out anymore. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> uh, were you confident when I went to the judges? It's always a bit sort of Nervous? Was I what? I'm sorry. Were you confident with the result? Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, I, I, I knew it was close. Uh, there was a few positions that I lost uh, that I should not have lost. But, um, but you know, close fights, again, composure, being in the moment and uh, not looking at the future and just being in the present. So, Congratulations. Thank you. You said you stayed really composed when you, when you hurt her nose, when you saw the blood, and maybe in the past you would have went, went at it a little bit more. Yeah. How much of that growth that you mentioned that you, that you got um, outside of the cage when you're away, how much of that growth takes place while you're in that cage? Right, like tonight, can you notice as that fight was going on that I, I'm growing right as this moment's going on? 100%, because this whole week, even the weight cut, you know, I, I cut a pretty decent amount of weight to get to 35. I mean, I'm not a small girl, you know, so... Uh, 
this whole week I've just kind of felt like in my element, you know, I, I, I never let my emotions get up here. You know, I, I wanted everything to stay in a flow state, you know, and my coaches in the back were like, keep it in the flow state, keep it right where it's at, you know, and in the past I've ten, I tend to go up, 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 up because I want that finish and I want it to be over so bad, you know, and, and you know, I'm having fun in there, right, but, but of course, you know, when you're a new up and coming fighter, you just want to kill, 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 right, which is the plan, you want to execute and, uh, and you do want to kill, but I think as far as like the highest level goes, it's time to start looking looking at that stuff and just kind of keep it even, your emotions, right? Because you're going to be in a bad spot. You're in a fight. You're going to get hit. You might, get on, you might be on your back, right? So you have to kind of have a plan and, and, and be composed in that, in that moment. So. You mentioned a couple of times plan. Did you have, per se have a game plan for her coming in or was it just a matter of staying true to what you maybe worked on leading up to this fight? Uh, yeah, we had a specific game plan for her, but it kind of fell into, you know, uh, a game plan for me as, 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 a, as me as a fighter, you know, being 5'11", being tall, uh, staying long, you know, and, and kind of like baiting people into my range and, and, and uh, into my world, you know, and so I feel like this fight has really helped me grow in that aspect, you know, not only just for this fight specifically, but for me in the future, you know, and, and, and my career. And I know the rankings are always kind of weird and subjective, but would you think that this, at least in this point, you guys would swap rankings and this, this would put you under the top 10? I believe so. I hope so. Yeah, I think so. And then looking forward to 2021, how active do you want to be? And are there, are there names that you really would like to see yourself challenge and, and see how the growth that if you fight a, an even better fighter, are there names on the on your on your wish list? You know, I was I was just talk, doing another interview, and uh, and you know, when I first got into the UFC, I was like, fight, 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 fight. You know, which is which is good. I do need you know cage time, but also I think at this point, cracking the top ten, and then all the girls up until Amanda. You know, I mean, I need to make sure that I'm working on my game. You know, and it's going to be really hard to do that fighting rank fighter after rank fighter. So I think maybe even a few months in between each fight would be really beneficial for me to grow and, and really be a complete whole fighter. You know, I, I just want to get better. I just, I want to keep growing. Well, congrats on the victory. Thank you.